were talking very passionately about fractals. Now, I thought you were referring to fractions, but you were talking about fractals, mm. specifically the way fractals exist in trees, nature, or leaves. Now, I'm pretty sure you didn't drop acid before our call, but you're very passionate about fractals. Go off, King. Fractals are like one of the most beautiful mathematical objects, especially since they can sometimes arise from random stuff. One of the fractals you might know is the Mandelbrot fractal. No. Okay. There are some pretty popular videos of just zooming into it on YouTube. Okay. Because the whole thing with the fractal is that it's infinite and has infinite complexity and it goes all the way down and all that stuff. And the thing is, it's generated by this really si I can't say the word simple. This cool mathematical equation in complex analysis that when you take the zeros of it, it creates this set. The outline of the Mandelbrot set is all of the zeros of this function. And it's so weird how with most functions you expect it to be continuous, like, I don't know, a circle or a square or whatever, some regular shape, but not a fractal. And one other fascinating thing I've always thought about is the area of a fractal. How do you even define it? You might have heard of the coastline paradox. No. Does that ring a... God damn. Uh, What's the coastline paradox? Okay, so essentially, the coastline of a country is kind of like a real-life fractal because there's infinite complexity, and, you know, depending on the tide, it can literally shift, and if you zoom in and in and in on the little grains of sand on the beach, you can see individually that the border is changing millions of times every nanosecond, and you get a different length if you measure with different levels of accuracy. And, you know, it never gives you one accurate measurement, which essentially leaves the question, there is no good way to measure the length of a coastline because it's kind of a real-life fractal. That's the coastline paradox. There is no well-defined measure of length on the coast.